Hey, hey, everyone, you're back at the Clever TV studio. I'm your host, Dana Ward, hanging out with Cider Sky. We've got the two musicians here with us. We have Simon and Shreether. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thank you for coming here. I know you guys are like packed, busy. I mean, it was a very busy week for you guys. Um, Want to start off with the last time we saw you at the Breaking Dawn part one premiere. Yeah. Your song, Northern Lights, is featured on the soundtrack. Yeah. What was it like walking down that fan filled carpet, first of all. Thrilling, it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing, yeah. Yeah. Twilight fans are just uh, something They're else. They're the best. They are the best. They are. I mean, did you guys know what you were getting into no. when you found out you were gonna be on the soundtrack? I didn't. No. No clue. No, didn't <laughs> know. I mean, walking past a wall of paparazzi and going here, here, turn here, turn here, and then fans behind, like signing autographs and taking pictures, meeting the, the, the cast. It was just, it was incredible. And yeah. you actually got to meet Stephanie Meyer, yeah. which is really cool. And from what I've heard, she actually has a really big say on who winds up on the soundtrack. Yeah, she was She really sweet. cares about music. Yeah. She's a huge music fan, so that's a big deal. So what do you think is it is about Northern Lights that included you on the soundtrack? Well, I think it's, it's an optimistic song. It's about love, to be or not to be. Um, and it just it, I, it fits the scene that it's been used in very very well. So I think it's a little bit bittersweet. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. I think you know we sort of we tried to write a happy song and we sort of landed it bittersweet. In the middle. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? It's really easy to write a sad song. So I think on the day when we wrote this song, it was let's write something we just feel good let's about. Try hard. Let's and write try something hard happy. To write happy <laughs> and in fact, that's what we did on our EP. We really made an effort to write really joyous, happy songs. We just wanted to bring more more beauty into the world. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to talk a little bit more about Northern Lights. Sure. Since the movie is out now, yeah. we can actually talk about the scene really that it's brilliant. in. Did you know this is the scene that Northern Lights would be included in? Or at what point did no. you find out? And what do you think about the matchup? Um, we found out a few days ago um, before we saw the movie. And I, you know, I didn't know it would be used where it is used. It's actually used, um, Bella and Edward get married, as we know. And uh, <laughs> what? after, <laughs> sorry, no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they, get <married. laughs> they, um, they get married, wedding reception happens, and then Edward says to Bella, I've got a surprise for you. And he leads her out to the forest, and Jacob is waiting for her there, and she runs up to him, and they talk, and then they dance, and our song is on throughout that period. So it's you know, from Jacob's perspective of, you know, him wanting to run away, have this beautiful life with someone, but bittersweet because it's never gonna happen. So, it was really touching. We saw it in, in, the, in the cinema when we went to see it the other day. It, yeah, it was magical, really nice. Yeah, what it's a was- a beautiful scene. What was it like seeing, or I guess hearing, this song that you guys have, you, you wrote it, you developed it, you recorded it, Seen it up there on the silver screen with such a wonderful love story playing in the background. I think it's really exciting to be part of such a huge cultural phenomenon. As an artist, that's what you want, is you want to be a part of everything that's going on and you want to collaborate. And this feels like we're part of a huge collaboration. I mean, think about it, from the director to the music supervisor to the set designer, we're mm -hmm. part of that team. I mean, yeah. We're a small part of that, that team and that's what's really exciting about it is that, uh, you know, we can, you know, forever we can remember this moment. It's amazing. Being part of something huge. Well, I know that a lot of people are really big fans of this song, and and lucky for us, you came out with an EP. Yes, we Yay. did. Tell us a little bit about King. It just hit the public. King is... How did you develop it? Well, it was, Northern Lights was the first song that we wrote and sang together. Um, King is the five songs we wrote after it. And um, they're all songs about hope. They're very optimistic, they're very positive. Um, and just again, we, we really enjoyed writing them, we enjoyed singing them, and we hope everyone else enjoys them too. It's funny because you go to work, you know, to go and write a song, you sit down together and you're about to write a song and maybe you're feeling a little blue that day or a little gloomy, mm -hmm. a little cranky. Especially in Los Angeles, if you <laughs> drove anywhere, you're pretty cranky. Yeah. The traffic will do it. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, and then you start writing, and you start singing about something joyous and happy. 
and you start to feel good. Yeah. Right away, you start mm -hmm. feeling better, and you're singing together, and it's that it elevates your mood. And I hope that that's what the CP does. Mm -hmm. When you put it on, you just feel better. I was listening to it in the car, and you know, driving around LA. And it was impossible to get mad at anybody with it on. I was like, yeah. you know what? You just cut me off. That's, That's totally fine. okay. Totally okay, okay everyone it. needs to die right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already. <laughs> so I know it's hard to pick a favorite, especially when you are the artist behind it. Can you each pick a favorite off of this EP? Yeah, I have a favorite. I have a favorite as so well. I don't know Please what Please share is. with us. Go on. Um, my favorite is Love is a Drum. I was going to say the same song. Well, of course, because I love Love is a Drum because you get to hear how beautiful Shreda's voice is uh, um, so in that that's song. That's sweet of you. Uh, yeah, and that's probably also why you love that <laughs> song. <laughs> <laughs> why do you no, love I it? No, I love it because I feel like it's probably the most emotionally con connective song. Um, it's, it's deep. Let's put it that way. It's deep. Did you just call it your own song, Deep? You sing on it as well. <laughs> it means there's really good inspiration behind it, right? Yeah, it's, it's a touching song. When we wrote that song, it, we, we both felt like it was a special song. Um, and I think it, it sits well um, on, on the EP. I'm, but I'm really excited. But our friends love, have surprising yeah, favorites. Shooting Stars oh. has been a favorite. Um, uh -huh. a, minute a Minute or Two. two. And uh, we added a remix. And a lot of people love the remix of a song called Glowing in the Dark. Mm -hmm. So Very cool. Everybody yeah. has their own favorite. A little something for everyone, right? Yeah. So very exciting. Your EP is available right now. Yes, but you is. guys are already working on your full-length album. We are. Yeah. We can't stop writing songs. Yeah, it's just all, both of us are feeling really inspired right now. Um, good things happening. Just it's hard not to get around the piano and write a song. I'm addicted to songwriting. I'm willing to confess it. <laughs> I love writing you songs help. with you. Okay. So, what's your artistic what? <laughs> vision for this for this upcoming full length album? Um, what do you happiness? What's the sound going to be? Is it going to be similar to what we've already heard? Exciting, yes. beautiful, bright, magical. Um, I just want when it comes on, I want it to feel like a hug, like to feel warm and happy, and to just make people feel good. Are we? Life is hard enough. Yeah. You know. I want to make music that makes people feel good. Are we at the point where we have a possible album title yet or track list? We can't tell you anything. Oh, <laughs> there's always a secret. There's always a secret. <laughs> yeah, at what point do you let it be known? Is it literally when it's up until yeah, when yeah. it's done? Yeah. Because even with the REP, you know, up until the last minute, you're like refining a song, refining the sound, the track, or whatever, and. You don't know how you're going to feel about it when everything is a collection of songs together. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's better to wait till we've decided what is on the record and what is done before we tell you. But we will come back and tell you. Yes, you better. We will. You better. But in the meantime, you guys are working on some outside projects. I know you were songwriting for Lemonade Mouth. Yes. Um, which is a project that a lot of our viewers love. Oh, brilliant. Fill us in a bit, please. <laughs> um, I wrote a song called Breakthrough, which is the, the finale song of Lemonade Mouth. Oh, yeah. Like they go to Madison Square Garden and they perform. Yeah, totally. Um, and yeah, that's it's done so well. And thank you everyone who out there who's gone to, to see the movie and who's, who's bought the soundtrack. You can um, thank them right I now. I can thank them right, right now. Over there. Thank you very much. And timeline wise, when can we expect this full length album from you guys? Within the next year. Within the next year. Within the next year. Within the next year. Yeah. But of course, for now, we do have your brand new EP just hit the public, yes. King, which is very exciting. Please go buy it. Hey, might you please? Might you submit some songs for Breaking Dawn Part Two? Mm. We'd love to. We would love to. Yeah. I think to. all of us would really like that. Oh, thank you, Dana. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us, us on Clever TV. You're yeah, always yes. welcome on Clever TV. <laughs> thank you. Thank and you. you guys, make sure you stay tuned. Click the link below because we actually had Cider Sky perform an acoustic performance of Northern Lights. The song the that's song. on the Breaking Dawn Part 1 soundtrack. So click the link below and make sure you also check out their brand new EP. It's called King. I'm Dana Ward. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.